Hello everyone, welcome back on Physic and Math channel with me, Ragil Priya. On this occasion, I will discuss about the transfer of the heat energy, starting from the theory to the practice, question and discussion. There are three types of heat energy transfer, namely conduction, convection, and radiation. But in this time, we will discuss about conduction first. Convection and radiation we will discuss in the next video. Oh yeah, it might be a good idea if sometime I collaborate with chemistry teacher Miss Desti. And okay, let's learn about conduction. Transfer of heat energy. Energy can be transferred by conduction, convection, and radiation. Remember that heat is the energy transfer from a system at a higher temperature to a system at a lower temperature with which it is in contact via the collision of their constituent particles. Conduction occurs when thermal energy moves through a material as a result of collisions between the free electrons, ions, atoms, and molecules of the material. The hotter a substance, the higher the average kinetic energy of its atoms. When a temperature difference exists between materials in contact, the higher energy atoms in the warmer substance transfer energy to the lower energy atoms in the cooler substance when atomic collisions occur between the two. Heat too flows from hot to cold. Consider the slab of material shown like in the figure. Its thickness is L and its cross-sectional area is A and then the temperatures of its two phases are T1 and T2. So the temperature difference across the slab is delta T equal to T1 minus T2. The quantity delta T per L is called the temperature gradient. It is the rate of change of temperature with distance. The quantity of heat delta K transmitted from phase 1 to phase 2 in time delta T is given by delta Q per delta T equal to K T A delta T per L, where K T depends on the material of the slab and is called the thermal conductivity of the material. In the international standard, K T has the unit watt per meter Kelvin, and delta T per delta T is in joule per second. In other ways, what the thermal resistance or a R value of a slab is defined by the heat flow equation in the form delta T per delta T equal to A delta T per R where R equal to L per KT. Its international units is meter square Kelvin per watt. Okay now, let's try to solve about this problem. An iron plate 2 cm thick has a cross-sectional area of 5000 cm square. One face is at 150 degree Celsius and the other is at 140 degree Celsius. How much heat pass through the plate each second for iron KT equal to 80 watt per meter kelvin from the formula above we can find delta t per delta t equal to kt times a times delta t per l and let's fill in this equation 80 times 0.5 times 10 per 0.02 and we will find the delta t per delta t equal to 20 kilo joule per second okay this is transfer of it energy for conduction how about convection and radiation we will meet again in the next video. Bye-bye.